Nea marae kawa, uh, tikanga fasfa. Uh, we've done karanga, as I've said earlier, krakia, as, uh, which we've enjoyed learning about, I'm sure, and fai kōrero. Uh, you might recognise that line-up of very esteemed gentlemen uh, on the pai, uh, and they talked about the pai last week and where fai kōrero takes place. Uh, so that I'm not sure what the occasion was in this photo, but uh, that is definitely uh, Pihopa George Kana, Hori Kana, uh, and a lineup of uh, many bishops of our province. We now move to um, the Poroporoaki. Uh, Poroporoaki, or a farewell speech. It has several meanings but the most common is farewelling the dead, often in poetry, stories, and waiata. In its simplest form, the purpuroaki is a cry of sorrow and farewell given on the marae and calls for a final salutation to the dead one. Whilst a very solemn part of the tangi, it can be both serious and funny at the same time. It depends on the speaker or speakers who will address the dead person directly as though alive. Here is a group of recognized, oh, yeah, you might recognize some of those people, recognized gentlemen who on the last evening of the tangi of the late, oh, of the late Brown today decided to deliver a joint statement. So that's in the coming slide. was on the last night, the Purupuruaki, at the funeral of the late Archbishop Ati Pihopa Brown today. A light moment. So I just wanted to point out that the Purupuruaki, despite the solemnness of the tangi, they find time, we find time, to laugh and enjoy the life of that person who, if was, you know, at another tangi somewhere, if that person was alive, that person would be in that lineup laughing too. Uh, you might note the awkwardness of uh, Archbishop uh, Philip. <laughs> they tried to encourage him, come on, do the haka, uh, and, and everyone burst into laughter. Wonderful. Poroporoaki is also addressed to the living, not just the dead, at social functions when people are departing for home, wherever that may be. It's usual for the manuhiri to initiate the purupuruaki. Uh, that's because it's good tikanga to let the visitors leave when they are ready and impolite for the hokainga or the hosts to prompt them to leave. This generally happens at the conclusion of a hākari or kai, either in the whare nui, either in the main uh, whare or the whare kai in the dining room. 
It's a time to acknowledge one's appreciation for the hospitality with speeches and songs and equally to embrace one final time before the Manuhiri take their leave. This is a time generally full of laughter, as you saw with our bishops, great joy and the promise of future encounters. Here we have a group of distinguished Manuhiri, you might recognize some, some of them, thanking the Hokainga and the Whare Nui after a hui with a waiata full of jest and fun. As you can see, there's a whole lot of fun. This is in the Whare Nui. They've obviously had a hui overnight, maybe two nights, maybe a weekend. Uh, and uh, this is just before they're starting to pack up and depart. So everyone will pack their bags, move out, the visitors, but it releases them. Uh, some of the hokang are sang there, like a lady from, uh, from the host, and uh, they were the visitors up the top there and they're about to depart. So Purupuru Aki is a wonderful time and I enjoy them. I enjoy them at Tangi, I enjoy them at Hui. Uh, something we do well. <laughs> Māori love laughing at themselves. We do it really well. <laughs> 